Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Pastor Shay, a.k.a. Chaplain G, coming back at y'all with another word of encouragement for today. So, yo, let me ask y'all a question. Have you ever had a point in your life where you were just flabbergasted by God? Like, God, God has just done something in your life where you look back on it. Maybe you look back immediately. Maybe you look back over the course of time. And you say, <laughs> whoa, that, like it's, it's one of those times when like words escape you and just one word comes out, <laughs> just, whoa, uh, not the black Rob, like, whoa, <laughs> for my 90s, for my 90s folks out there. I, <laughs> I was, I was reading this story about David this morning. And it, it's a story about David's response to God giving him this promise that he was going to essentially the throne of David, like his descendants, was going to rule forever. And, and quite honestly, the, the purpose of God making that promise was not like it, it, did, it didn't necessarily have to do specifically with David. It was God setting up that Jesus was going to come from the lineage of David and therefore his king and his kingdom was going to thrive forever. So there was, yes, there was a promise to David, but it was because Jesus was going to be in his lineage, right? But David is hearing this promise and he's just like, huh, whoa. And like I said, I was thinking about that and thinking back like over the course of time, where God has taken me from. Like when I, so when I first came in the military, I was 19 years old and graduated from, had graduated from high school when I was uh, 17. Maybe I was 18 when I came in. I was somewhere in there. <laughs> I forget. Anyway, um, no, I was 19. Uh, I had tried, um, after, after high school, I tried to go to college. It didn't work out. Tried that for like a semester and I just wasn't ready. Went to join up for the military. And in the middle of me uh, signing up for the military, got <laughs> made some stupid choices and almost shipwrecked my life the, the, like the couple months prior to me going in. And really, even thinking about further, all the times that like me and my cousins running across rooftops or jumping off of stuff, getting in fights, uh, me like making poor decisions as a teenager, poor decisions in my 20s, poor decisions in my 30s, <laughs> on and on and on. And as with David, I look back on my life and what God has done, and I'm just like, whoa, this is, God has been really good. And I want to read y'all David response, David's response because I think sometimes we need to be flabbergasted by where God has brought us from so that we can live a life of thanksgiving toward him. So let me read y'all this. This is 2 Samuel chapter 7 starting at verse 18. Check this out. Then King David went in and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, O Lord God? And what is my house that you have brought me thus far? And yet this was a small thing in your eyes, O Lord God. You have spoken also of your servant's house for a great while to come. And this is the instruction for mankind, O Lord God. And what more can David say to you? For you know your servant, O Lord God. Because of your promise and according to your own heart, you have brought about all this greatness to make your servant know it. Therefore you are great, O Lord God. For there is none like you, and there is no God beside you, according to all that we have heard with our ears. This is David just, just floored that God would look at him. If you know David's story, he was a shepherd 
but he was like the last kid in his family. And if and if you understand like the structure of Israel, usually the oldest son has the most like almost like political power. So if you're the last kid and you're and you're essentially you're essentially an errand boy for your family. And so he came from nothing. He was he was the least of of all the sons of his dad. And but yet God looked at him and said, but I'm gonna make you the greatest in your kingdom is going to thrive forever. There's going to be one who comes in your lineage whose throne whose throne will never fail. And man, thinking about how God has made a similar promise like as you're in my family. This is God making us a promise. As you're in my family, your life will never fail. I may remove you from this reality but you will dwell in my house forever man what a like david who am i who am i that god would look at me favorably looking back on all the junk that i've done with my life and continue to do with my life that god would look at me favorably and say but you're mine and i've and i'm establishing a room just for you in my in my palace it's crazy, man. It's crazy that God would look at me and say, I love you. And all the all the crap you pulled before uh, I, I changed your life. I'm going to exchange all of that and treat you as if your life is like the perfection of my son's life. It's flooring, man. It's 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 like whoa. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna name this video. Like whoa. I'll, I'll put the uh, I'll put the the song. If y'all never heard that song before, it's not a clean song. Don't don't listen to it if you're offended. But anyway, man. I hope you are floored by God today. I hope you can reflect back on your story and just say to God, man, you are amazing. And I don't deserve your kindness. Who am I that you would look at me favorably? But I want to walk with thanksgiving towards you. That would be my that would be my word of encouragement for you today. Be floored by God. So hope y'all doing well, man. Please, as always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, these videos are doing what they're doing because of y'all liking them and y'all subscribing. And so thank you. I appreciate y'all, man, and I love y'all. Hope y'all doing good. Enjoy your weekend. Until next time, grace and peace.